Things are getting more exciting at the end of this week, with more amazing Blender add-ons. Add-ons for effects, animation, rendering, and so on. In addition to major updates to very important add-ons. But before we continue, I want to remind you guys that today is Black Friday. So this is a great opportunity to get yourself some of the best add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it, especially on the Blender market because they are having big discounts, up to 30 and 35%. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the top Blender add-ons and courses that you will ever need. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. If you want to create realistic water surfaces, there are a few options out there. But recently there is a new add-on called Physical Open Waters from one of the best Blender developers out there called Physical Add-ons. The creators of amazing add-ons like Physical Starlight and Atmosphere and Physical Celestial Objects. This new add-on allows you to create cinematic and procedural open waters like photorealistic seas and oceans in a very easy and straightforward way. But how, you might ask? Well, it has a lot of presets that allow you to choose the type of water surface that you want. From calm, confused, moderate, rogue, serene, storm gusts, in addition to other presets. You also have the ability to change some settings like minimum frequency, maximum frequency, minimum amplitude, dispersion, distribution, skew, choppiness, and wind speed. In addition to other settings that allow you to control capillary waves, I mean things like scale, stretch, direction, speed, and so on. The good thing is that this add-on allows real-time responsiveness in EV, which helps you to prototype stunning scenes in a short period of time, especially when working under deadlines. Now, talking about updates, we have Fluent 3, an add-on that revisits us again with its new updated version for the mighty Blender 4.0. It is a versatile, non-destructive tool that is useful for just about anything modeling related thanks to a dozen tools and features that it offers for adding things like cuts, mirrors, cables, clothes, and many more. Anything a hard service artist could wish for, you can find it there. The idea behind it was to make our modeling workflow in Blender more efficient, in addition to speed. This was further improved with the recent update, where we can find, for example, a new feature to add a chamfer to the edges of the cut, a new way to adjust how big the edges of the clothes are, and the ability to adjust the size of each bevel separately, among many other features. However, my favorite one among the bunch is the slicer cleaner, an option that allows us to automatically get rid of the internal faces we get from adding a cut, which would save us from the headaches of having to do it manually. Now, if you are facing trouble with colors, then ColorMate is gonna be your new friend. And just like the name suggests, this add-on is centered around colors. But how, you might ask? ColorMate is an add-on that lets us calculate color harmonies inside Blender, without having to go back and forth between the software and color websites, which is annoying and time-consuming. It supports many popular color palette formats, with the added benefit of being able to manage and import color palettes as well from a variety of popular software such as Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, Krita, and GIMP. We can find the add-on as a little menu in the shader editor where you can adjust the main color in real time, with the add-on providing a collection of compatible colors at the same time. And with the recent 1.3 update, they even added the feature of being able to save our most used colors for an easier access and to save a lot of time along the way. Now, let's switch our focus to Baga Street, a new add-on from the creator of Baga collection of add-ons, which are very important and respected in the field. But does this add-on live up to the reputation? The short answer is yes. Baga Street is an add-on that comes with a library of over 400 street-themed assets, each with textures up to 4K resolution, and they are optimized and baked for a higher performance. From what I can see, it is advertised as a collection that is specifically designed for architectural visualization. And while it can be great for that, you don't have to use it for that only, because it can be used for anything really. The add-on comes with a set of tools to help us use these assets more effectively, 
We have, for instance, an array tool to generate assets around the borders of a 3D model, maybe around a street or something like that. We also have the ability to draw a pattern for the assets to follow, and the ability to adjust the spacing between them, while still remaining stable and constant, which is fantastic. And hopefully in the future, it becomes better with more updates. Speaking about updates, there is also another update of the very popular add-on called Zenu V, an add-on that needs no introduction. And in my book, it is one of the best UV unwrapping solutions for Blender right now. If you don't know what it is, Zenu V is a set of professional tools for fast UV creation in the software, which covers the process from A to Z, from the edge selection part to automatically finding the best placement for UV islands and the final stages of fixing any issues, like orientation or bed alignment, which makes it a great package. The recent update of this tool made it even better than it was. Now we have the luxury of new solutions, such as the ability to transfer UV maps between the different models, in addition to new randomization features, among many others. But my favorite tool is the UV world size, a way to make your UVs match real world measurements such as a wall for example, which can be great for adding an extra layer of realism to your work, or to be generally more accurate, which is never a bad thing. UV mapping is important in everything, but rendering, especially being efficient in it, is very important too. That's why we have a new add-on called the Pigeon Toolback, which is a collection of previously released add-ons which are combined into an easy-to-use tool to render more efficiently but there is more tools to be released in the future since they are in development. Nevertheless, right now it includes the Super Image Denoiser, which according to the developer, can render with far greater quality and detail than any built-in denoiser. We could also choose what type of denoising we would like in our scenes, and it can also denoise multiple frames at once, which is great. It also features a super fast render that actually optimizes our scenes and saves render times which is the point in the first place, as well as advanced camera effects and the ability to build our own render farm. This one is interesting, plus a project manager among many other tools. Next we have a new add-on called Shape Key Selector, which is a new way to cheat the system a little bit. Let me explain. Rigging is a process that can go wrong in so many ways, and while rigging a body can be tricky, it is still nowhere near the nightmare of frigging facial expressions. Instead of doing that, this animal lets us sculpt or model those facial details, like wrinkles, creases, and dimples, and with the use of its side menu, we can instantly add those expressions as shape keys for our 3D characters. For those who don't know, shape keys are a way to store expressions of 3D characters without rigging, and they can be animated by inserting keyframes between those set expressions. Now, with this add-on, you can also add all the shape key images with one click into your viewport. To start working with them right away, you can also separate the left and right parts of the expressions to create asymmetrical faces, such as in the case of raising eyebrows or something like that. For the next add-on, as a disclaimer, if you have an insect phobia, you should probably skip this part. If not, then be ready because Insect Swarm is a great collection of realistic procedural insect systems. For starters, it comes with a collection of 21 realistic and animated insects such as ants, bees, and butterflies. Then with just few clicks in the modifier section, we can assign those insects to one of the procedural systems to spread them across your scene. But what are these? We have for example Attraction, to make them drawn to an object or avoidance to run away from it. There is also crawling and flying, basically all the movements insects usually make. And since it is geometry node based, those systems can be all edited and for example, setting up a random movement speed, adjusting how often they change direction and so on. Similarly, we have Spaceship Generator, which is another new procedural geometry node system. And let me tell you, it is very straightforward with this one. All you need to do is model a simple block that looks somewhat like a spaceship, and then in a short period of time and with a few clicks, we would get an epic textured and detailed spaceship, which is awesome. 
You also have the ability to edit the various parts of the node trees to generate an infinite level of variations from just one design alone, or editing the procedural shading material too, which gives you many options. As you can see, it is a very simple and easy to use add-on, but still very powerful, especially for sci-fi projects. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, please don't forget about the sales because this is a great opportunity. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel and check some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching again and I will see you in the next one.